This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework. This is physics homework number four. This is uh, part one of six, so it's questions three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And um, it's a relatively straightforward question once you get the concept that the slope of a velocity time graph is your acceleration. So you know that the slope of a velocity time graph is your change in velocity, that's your rise over your run, is how much time has passed, so change in time. And change in velocity over the amount of time that has gone is your acceleration. So the slope of this graph, this velocity time graph, is going to give you your acceleration at any point. So the first question asks, find the average acceleration during the time interval 0 to 3 seconds. Well, from 0 to 3 seconds, what's happening to my velocity? My velocity starts at 3, it remains at 3, it remains at 3, it remains at 3. So my velocity hasn't changed at all. So my change in velocity is going to be, so for question number 3, my change in velocity is 0, and the amount of time that goes by is 3 seconds. So this is meters per second, and this is seconds. So this is going to give me 0 meters per second squared is my change in velocity over time for part number three. So my slope there is zero because my acceleration is zero. Now it says find the average acceleration during the time interval three to six seconds. So I'm going from here to here. What I need is the slope of this line because I've got my total change in velocity and a total amount of time. So I can just look at my graph and figure out what this change in velocity was at the same time I had this amount of time. So for number four, for number four, I've got a change in velocity of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got a change in velocity from three to negative six. So my change in velocity is going to be negative nine. And the amount of time that goes by is one, two, three seconds. Three seconds. So negative nine meters per second in three seconds is my rise over my run. So that's going to be negative nine over three. So for me, that's going to give me negative three. Uh, meters per second per second, so that gives me meters per second squared. Question number five asks again for the average acceleration during the time interval zero to nine seconds. So now I want the whole time from zero to nine seconds. So I'm going from a initial velocity of three to a final velocity of negative six. So for number five, what I want is my change in velocity, which is going to be my final velocity minus my initial velocity. Well, my final velocity is going to be negative 6. My initial velocity was 3, so that's going to give me negative 9. And my amount of time that goes past is 9 seconds. So a change in velocity over time, it's going to be negative 9 meters per second divided by 9 seconds, so I get negative 9 meters per second over 9 seconds, and I'll see that that's going to be negative 1 meter per second squared on my graph. That's also the slope of a line drawn from here straight down to here. So it's my total rise and my total run. So it's a slope of negative one. Now questions six, seven, and eight are asking for an instantaneous acceleration. So I want the instantaneous acceleration at two seconds, which is here. I want my instantaneous acceleration at four seconds, which is right here, and I want my instantaneous acceleration at 7 seconds, which is right here. Now, to find the instantaneous acceleration, you would want to find out what the slope is right at that point, or right at that point, or right at that point. But since these are straight lines, the slope doesn't change while I'm on that line segment. So I've really already done the work to find the slope of this line. I did it back in question number 3. So the slope of this line is the same as the slope at that point. The slope of this line is going to be the same as the slope at that point, and the slope of this line is the same as the slope at that point. I haven't calculated this yet, but you should be able to see what it is. So 6, 7, and 8 should be pretty straightforward, and I'm not going to give you any more than that.